I 3D printed a remote control first person view aeroplane and here's how it went. Oh. 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 Oh my god, oh my god, it flies. Oh my god. I just want to stop the video right now to mention that the reason that this aircraft kept on crashing was because I had originally thought that I had the correct uh, motor to propeller ratio, uh, but apparently my calculations were completely wrong. You may be asking yourself, why was this person standing in the bog? trying to fly an aeroplane in the first place uh, but just throwing it into the ground well let me tell you exactly why first of all i like to fly things and that is the thing that i like doing and i was sent uh, the latest bamboo labs carbon x1c uh, to play with and i wanted to use it in the best way i could think possible and that was to make something super precise uh, that had to be put together and flown uh, to prove that it was made precisely and I used the lightweight PLA to print this model, uh, which is a PLA that is essentially half the weight of a standard PLA. Now, of course, there are other parts that go into making this aircraft, and that is a 11 volt uh, battery that's three cell and uh, a lovely ESC, which is a 30 amp ESC to handle the motor, which I literally just stole out of one of my uh, remote control drones. For the servos, I just used really cheap Tower Pro servos and I used a TBS uh, receiver to get my signal to my radio, which means that I have crossfire on it. Of course, I added FPV and the way I did that was adding a Vista to the front, which will connect to the goggles uh, that I have that are also made by DJR. Now, I spent a little bit more time on the second aircraft. Uh, this was because I was absolutely certain that we were just throwing it like a bunch of schmucks. And uh, so I spent a load of hours just painting my new aircraft to make it look really, really good. Uh, after I was completely sure that everything was uh, in fact the way it needed to be, uh, my control surfaces moved in the correct directions and all my links were solid, it was time to take the new aircraft out to the field. Look at that. <laughs> I realized that not everybody is going to quite understand what is going on with this aircraft. Basically what is happening, there is a little camera in the front of it and it, this aircraft is connected to my radio and the camera in the front is connected to goggles which I am currently wearing on the top of my head. And once everything is plugged in and there is power to the aircraft, I can see what the aircraft sees and I can control it from my little radio. So it's like playing a video game but in real life with real consequences. After I was absolutely certain that the video had had a good quality check I decided to clear up the space in front of our spare camera before giving George a little bit of a lecture on how to throw the aircraft because of course the throwing of the aircraft is the most important okay round number three I think it, this time I'm 100% certain that I've figured out what my problem was. Uh, not only do I have schmucks throwing this aircraft, uh, but we have way too small of a propeller on the aircraft, which is not giving enough thrust to force the aircraft forward. So I built a third version. This time, I didn't spend any time painting it, and I also didn't spend any time getting out to the field uh, to do some more tests, now that I knew what I think I thought the problem was. And uh, it has a bigger propeller on it now. And uh, we're launching straight into the sun so that I can make sure that I don't see where I'm going. That makes it more fun. And George is going to try and chase it if we can get it into the sky. Okay, three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> I almost did my arm flinch again. <laughs> Obviously at this point you can tell I got my calculations right but the day that we were flying on was a terribly a horribly looking day so we decided to pack everything up land the aircraft and wait for a nice juicy day in the land of England to take the aircraft out and do this all again uh, but with some better footage. And by this time we had had enough practice launching and flying this aircraft uh, that we were able to make it almost look like uh, we were professionals.
However, need to work on the landings though. Oh. I just want to mention that the aircraft, as well as the one that you are seeing on the screen right now, was both designed by Eclipse, and, and I will leave a link for them in the description as well. And uh, if you're interested in seeing more about these aircraft, uh, then maybe you should leave that in the little square box that YouTube gives you to leave words uh, down in the bottom of the video. Also, I decided that I would go and find an even smaller FPV wing, uh, but this time I did quite a few little modifications. I stripped apart a Vista, and I made uh, a couple of little mods like camera mounts and uh, a vista mounts and all the little things that I needed to make this tiny little aircraft uh, possible thing uh, which worked out actually really really well if you're interested in any more of this then make sure to let me know in the comment sections uh, if you didn't like anything you saw then I don't really care and you can now kindly f off <laughs>